Oh, how time flies. Look at that. It's the end of June, the start of July, and we've officially been a channel for one month. <laughs> with nothing else coming before this at all that I can think of. I, I didn't exist before this mm -mm. one. We wanted to take some time today at the beginning of today's episode to say thank you all so much for the overwhelming amount of support that we received over the past few weeks. And we want to give a special, a very special thank you to our May and June Patreon supporters who literally helped us launch this channel and will hopefully stick around for a while, including hopefully a lot more of you in July. Uh, we'll roll some credits at the end of this episode to thank all the tiers who helped make so much of this possible. But we wanted to let you know that because of everyone's contributions, whether it was $1 or $100, whatever it was, we were already able to put down an advance payment on a new filming location for at least two months. Hey! So that's good. And since this is our last day at the old Machinima Studios... These tiny little walls. As soon as we're done filming this, we are tearing down this wall, Mr. Gorbachev. We're breaking down the equipment and we're moving it over to our new spot mm -hmm. in a rickety old U-Haul. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, we should probably start with some updates to stories that we've covered that have finally all wrapped up in a nice little bow. Starting with the news that Oculus is gonna have to pay ZeniMax $250 million for copyright infringement. Whoops. Oof. And they're funding Fallout 76 with it. If you've watched Tech News Day for any number of months on some other channel that we've never heard of, you'll know that we've been covering the story for a while. But if not, here's a brief summary. Uh, ZeniMax claimed that their old chief technology officer, John Carmack, who quit the company to go and work for Oculus, had stolen ZeniMax's intellectual property and used it in the development of the Oculus VR technology. Now, originally ZeniMax had demanded around $500 million and wanted the sale of Oculus headsets to be banned completely, so Obviously, they didn't get anywhere near you what they shoot, actually wanted. You gotta shoot higher than your target. Exactly, but uh, Oculus was still fined for breach of contract and copyright infringement, which is what resulted in that $250 million payout. So it's not all bad for ZeniMax, I guess. And now Oculus can continue its journey of virtually dropping Mark Zuckerberg into natural disasters to awkwardly discuss them without having to put himself in any real type of stressful situation other than when he has to appear in front of the government for oops, allowing companies to take advantage of user data. But I'm sure That's they'll find a, very, a way. That is a very great question, Congressman. But now he's going to be saying that from the comfort of his home office, and he'll virtually be there with his little avatar next time it has to happen. Hi, everyone. Wow, look at all this destruction. Is uh, this my fault? In other lawsuit update news, you'll probably find it quite hilarious that just as the potential legal battle of the century between Fortnite Battle Royale and Player Unknown's Battlegrounds was heating up, it has already ended. Whew. Now. I'm not sure this is going to surprise anyone to hear, but there was no quick decision or settlement here because PUBG Corporation was uh, probably just tired of continuing to be the butt of the joke and realized how dumb the whole lawsuit actually was because they they just dropped it entirely by sending a letter of withdrawal to the attorneys for Epic Games, yeah. which I'm sure is framed in their bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> this lawsuit was always stupid, especially when faced with the reality that there are probably around a dozen versions of Battle Royale titles or modes already with dozens more on the way in the coming months. But also because both of these games are owned by the same companies in some way or another. Epic Games owns the engine used to create PUBG, and both games are at least partly owned by Tencent Holdings. So, a little weird. This whole thing, it was stupid from the beginning, so it's at least somewhat heartwarming to see that these two games can get along and not drag a pointless lawsuit out for months when the only people who will really profit off of it would be gaming news outlets who do round-the-clock coverage of this type of thing. Ugh. Listen, we can put all this behind us now until Fortnite goes and sues PUBG for stealing the concept behind its battle pass. Oh no. <sighs> Which is Shit. apparently not rolling out well. People are not happy. Uh, <laughs> I actually paid for this game and you want me to pay more? Because yeah. with, yeah. with Fortnite, it's a free game that you can buy the battle pass for. Yeah. Original adopters are a little upset. But you can, get a, you can get a parachute that says battle pass on it. But enough about gaming lawsuits, those are boring. Uh, yeah. It's time to show you something exciting because with all the protests happening across not only our country, but across the world as well, it's easy for each one of those to get kind of lost in the crowd. You need a little pizzazz, yeah. a little showmanship to bring attention to your cause. Luckily for us here in LA, that's exactly what we got the other day atop a highway exit sign where a man dressed only in underwear ascended to glory in order to stop pollution or something. <laughs> and uh, every car, uh, you gotta stop pollution by stopping all the cars in their tracks, and he did it. Yeah, he did. All right, yeah, this, this was most likely a complete fucking nightmare for anyone unlucky enough to be taking the 110 freeway, which cuts right through the heart of downtown LA. Already just the worst stretch of highway in the city. Yeah, uh, yeah, when this dude decided to air his grievances, it ruined a lot of people's days. 
but at least they got a show because aside from the typical shouting random unintelligible shit through the a blown out megaphone that people can't hear anyway or hanging signs that say stuff like fight pollution not each other motorists were treated to some modeling poses a hell of a lot of vaping an impromptu rap performance and to top it all off a stunning finale, where after rescue attempts from multiple police officers and firefighters, the man did a backflip off of the sign, landing safely on an inflatable device below. Yeah, and they, they, can't, they can't take him to jail now. It's a cool crime. it's a cool crime. Yeah, we've <laughs> already been through this. Cool crimes, completely legal. In the court of, of internet, internet today, today, cool crimes. Sir, you free to go. You're free to go. He did a backflip. Let him leave. <laughs> Uh, seriously though, this dude's a fucking asshole. Uh, he tied up traffic for hours and pulled both police and fire departments away from actual important shit to deal with his goofy, sweaty, naked ass. Uh, mm -hmm. So as funny as the headline of vaping, rapping, protester backflips off highway sign is, a lot of people had to suffer through his ridiculous bullshit and, uh, you know, it also caused a hell of a lot more pollution. <laughs> yeah. Because those cars were just sort of sitting in the standstill traffic caused by his stunt with their AC blasting in this hot summer heat. How could I best bring the cause of pollution to the forefront by creating more pollution. Yeah. Yeah. A simple scenario. Then again, some motorists just want to watch the world burn. And while doing so, they want to let everyone around them know just how hilarious, stupid, evil, or dumb they are just by looking at their license plates. Custom license plates are, for the most part, really stupid. It's basically just another bumper sticker for your car. And we can't really understand why the hell someone would want to pay extra just to have your license plate become more identifiable. Yeah. I guess people just really want to let other people know about their big personalities. So, whatever, it's, it's mostly harmless, I, My I guess. My other car is a big dick toilet. <laughs> yeah. We need to make that one. Yeah. But uh, hey, sometimes these vanity plates go too far. And thanks to Florida being completely open with literally everything related to its state government records, we can see how far some people really try to go when coming up with creative plates for their vehicles. Here are some real, actual submissions for vanity plates in Florida that were denied over the last five years. Some are fun, some are confusingly self-descriptive in unsettling ways, and some are just completely fucked up. Enjoy. Gator hater, which, okay, doesn't make sense because like the whole thing is there's a rivalry uh, between the Georgia Bulldogs and the Florida Gators, yeah. and the Georgia Bulldogs refer to themselves as gator haters, so that's oh. kind of what's weird about this one. I mean, otherwise well, probably this guy, a transplant. Like, it, well, it could be that, or it could be like a Floridian who like an alligator ate their baby yeah. or something. It's so, like letting everyone know, like I fucking hate gators. Gators, bad. I'll tolerate this state and its humidity, but there's one thing I won't tolerate. Yeah. Gators. Uh, there's one that either reads "gas sucks" or "Georgia sucks," which is also that would make sense. I guess so. People, yeah. to, I don't understand this feud. Yeah. But I think it's I think it's probably more likely that it's gas sucks. I wouldn't choose to live in either of them. It's probably on a Prius or some lame liberal yeah. mobile. Yeah, liberal mobile, cuck uh, mobile. There's also buzz kill. Oh, which, oh my lord. <laughs> oh, oh me oh my. It's probably just a reference to that early '90s MTV show where they did pranks, but could be anything, I guess. Tap dat. Oh, that's good. Da ho, crazy bitch. Cause you gotta let everyone know if you're a crazy bitch. I'm a crazy bitch. Don't, <laughs> don't tailgate me. I might speed up and then immediately stop. So you slam into me and then yeah. sue you or something. Cut you. Okay. Go to hell. Haul as. Oh, I get it. Yeah. What the fuck, man? Or we the furries, man. <laughs> Representing his eclectic lifestyle. Yeah. Triple X sexy. A A55 fat or ass fat. <laughs> ass fat. I wonder if eat ass could get passed. I doubt it. Three, A, seven. Three, three, four, seven. Yeah, three, four, seven, four, four five, 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 five. Eat ass. There you go. Use it, Chevy. Hooker. Which, okay, what? It's great for business. You gotta, you gotta advertise. Uh, why do I keep getting pulled over by the police? Oh, it's good. Oh, no, I'm a fisherman, sir. Yeah. You've confused it once again. I am a fisherman. I'm also a masturbator. You get it? I'm a funny guy. I'm a funny fisherman. No, it probably means a person who gets paid Prostitute. Percent. Great in bed. That's probably what they submitted after Hooker got deleted the yeah, first time. Yeah. Damned. And uh, for good measure, Naz Eat or Nazi AT. Yeah. Uh, you probably just can't have those four letters in at all. At Next all. Each other. Murder. <laughs> and here's one uh, that definitely should have gotten rejected Zig Heil. <laughs> Who? Yeesh. They probably should have shown up at this guy's house after that. Yeah. One. We got a few questions, sir. <laughs> sir. Hmm. <laughs> okay. 
Wow, people are fucking stupid. <laughs> Don't ever submit those. There's also this, did you see the thing on Reddit where it was like, mess up your Google search history, where people were doing it. I went to the comments before. People were doing it and they're like, man, I really should have read the comments before this because it's a, it's a script that you enter and it just does like a ton of uh, random Google searches oh, to yeah. like mess up your history and like be like, well, I couldn't have possibly done that. It was an app, but it was like, looking up really fucked up, like how to join ISIS and shit like in the Google search history. And it's just like, everyone in the comments is like, man, I really should have read the comments before I did this. I mean, well, at least it screwed up everyone's search history, right guys? You all did it too. Lots of nervous people in there. Uh, don't do that. Yeah. Anyways, 4th of July is in the center of next week. So technically you get two 4th of July weekends here in the good old USA. For the USA. price of one. Yeah. Damn government won't even let you have a hooker license plate here, but you get two weekends. So. <laughs> It's a nice little side uh, uh, present. Yeah, try to have fun and uh, don't blow your hands off of fireworks or anything stupid like that. Watch our other episodes. We'll see you soon. Yeah. I won't. I'll be in the Philippines for two weeks. That's so, how he's uh, celebrating American independence. See ya. Like going to the Philippines. <laughs> I'm declaring my independence from but, uh, America. We're still going to do the show. I'll have some special guest hosts that you'll be surprised to see. And uh, yeah, check out other episodes. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.